and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinager and I am playing some Xenosaga episode 3. I'm not going to say the subtitle again. Logging into the main server. We're logging into the main server because this is totally how this works. Uh, this game definitely has a little bit of dungeon layouts that don't make any logical sense for a futuristic sci-fi world unless you were inside a freaking like simulation or something. But I love it. <laughs> I love it anyway. Made into the main server in the sector 5 main server room. I wonder how much information is processed here. This is only the local server for Milsha Space. What exactly is the UMN that's laid out throughout the Star Cluster? On well, the current of this objective is to acquire the top secret data. Let's ask us through that terminal. Okay. This can't possibly go wrong. This can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> Miyuki, keep watch. Kanan, please start the data backup. I'm already on it. Don't screw up. Now that we've everyone is so mean to Miyuki. I know, I know. But will this really expose Vector's crimes? Miyuki, do you understand what this UMN really is? Uh, it's a wide area network system or something? Nah. <laughs> a wide area information network system with non-local connections. Its characteristics enable warp travel and light speed communication. Yep. An exemplary answer. But do you think that's really all there is to dun, dun, dun. it? What do you mean? A wide area network that connects our star cluster. But who built it and when? Who established the gate jump columns? <laughs> For that matter, what division of Vector even handles the base theory development? It's... Nobody uh, knows! Exactly. No one knows, because no one established it, it or built it. It was already there! It was already there. We just use it as if we invented it. That's nothing more than your own conjecture. It's true, though! <laughs> I'll give you credit for your vivid imagination, but you have no proof. He's right. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? Except she's right. <laughs> I hope so. If I'm wrong, everyone can live in peace. But we need to make sure. We need to know what they intend to accomplish with the UMN. What their ultimate goal is. Okay. Huh? Xion, there's something weird. Big warning screen. Something? I've told you time and again to make precise God, everyone's reports. so mean to Miyuki. Leave her alone. Well, there's a strange fluctuation in the particle okay. flow. It started about 300 seconds ago. Looks like a fractal pattern. I think someone or something's trying to interfere with okay. us. Is it a pursuit craft or the cyber surveillance system? No. Actually, you'd think they'd be wearing masks if they were breaking into a place. <laughs> there hasn't been any physical contact from macrophages. And there's no sign that our jamming of the surveillance network. Macrophage is a blood cell thing. <laughs> it's like someone's watching. No, studying us. Well then. Studying us? Who? Reasons. Why? There's no way for me to tell. How's that data coming? Just a little more. Hurry. It's dangerous to stay here much longer. Okay. Dangerous, you say? I mean, we have to have a boss fight before we finish the dungeon. It's kind of the thing. Uh oh! Shan, I think it's a little too late for that now. Let me guess, you're gonna blame me, Yuki. Everything is me, Yuki's fault. Hey guys! How you doing? Yeah, it's a fucking gnosis. Like, what is a gnosis doing here? Don't what me. even is a gnosis doing here? Explanations of break and target control. Blah blah. Unable to act for two kind of an act, and it will be still. It does still have the break system, but it's not nearly as um in depth as it was in the other games. Again, this game is pretty. Just just look at that eye. Just look at the face. 
It's a pretty game. Okay. Get him! Alright. Target for all allies to self. Because cannons are tank. Okay, you have lightning blast. So, ether is sort of like your magical attacks, and then tech is your... Uh... Tech damage attacks, for the most part, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Get him. Bonk. Root. Can I use special attack for you? Yes, I can. Get him! Go, Kaden, go! Wow, if I were- Oh, wait, it's confused. Or is it dying? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know, man. I don't know nothing. Okay, he only has heat. He doesn't have any special stuff. Which is fine, because I think this is the only time you have Miyuki or Kanan in the party. I think. <laughs> I can't remember. I know there's a couple times you'll have um, guests in your party like that, but... It's only a few times. More so than in the other days, because I don't remember have ever having guests in the party. Like, guessing the actual battle party in the other two Sino Saga games. Only in this one. Mm. Keep going! Kill it! Kill? No, not kill. Almost kill. Soon we kill. Kill? Kill! It's dead. I should have really killed it with Shion, not me, but whatever. And we get our FMVs that are a little bit more pixelated than the actual game. <laughs> it's fine though. Yeah, suddenly there's a shit ton of Gnosis in here. Which, uh. Again, you're in the middle of a tech place. Things. I love. My name's I know, right? You should remember that by now. Sorry, didn't mean to hurt your Really, Doc I don't waste brain power on trivial things. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> fucking gnosis. It's gonna be a little bumpy. Hold on tight. In the middle Wait, of a tech what? server. Ah! Wait a minute. How? If she fell down that way, there's no way she could right herself, and you kind of need Miyuki to help you pilot that thing, Shion. <laughs> Do, do, do. See, how did she write herself? <laughs> Abel! What's up? No. Don't you. <gasps> Nephilim! And that was Nephilim's voice, I'm pretty sure. Yup. She was starting to get a weirdy weirdy head thingy. But turns out, that entire dungeon... Here's a fucking simulation. <laughs> well then. That's a little trippy dippy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Gonna pause that and click that and click that and click and WHOA! Don't fuck with an emulator during a cutscene, holy shit! That one was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> All I was trying to do was fix a little thing and it caused the background to go black. <laughs> this is fine now. This this looks better. Are you alright? I didn't like the way that it was Whoa, looked. You were pretty sexy. Really, Miyuki? Miyuki? You're starting to sound like a dirty old man. It's because she is a dirty old man. <laughs> well, 
We completed our mission. Although someone made it more complicated than You're so have. mean to her. God, you're such an asshole, Xion. Oh, come on, Xion. I promise it won't happen again. Anyway, how's the data? Don't tell me we lost it in the end. It's fine. The backup completed with 0 .002 nanoseconds to spare. Cool. Good. Not bad. Former chief of Vector's first division. You and your brother are both good. Jin. The translation method was sloppy and a bit lagging, but thanks to you, we made it. I'm going to start analyzing the backed up data. I'll let you know if I find anything, along with that other Yeah, thing that's you why asked. the entire dungeon looked like a what the fuck tech fever dream. It's because it was all in a simulation. Thanks. I mean, they did actually break into the server, but they did it in a simulated world. Start the world. data transfer, Realian. It's God. Kanan. Doc, I love. I you seem to have a default. I like Doctus, but Doctus is an asshole too, but she's a funny asshole. Errare humanum est. I <laughs> To error is human. I think that's what that one means. Um uh Shion, you aren't mad, are you? Also, were you going into a simulated hacking attempt while you were still in Vector Industries? Because she's totally wearing her Vector uniform right now. <laughs> no, everything turned out alright. I don't make a habit of Then why did you bring it up, Shion? <laughs> oh, good. No, it's not good. I'm sending you text on basic structure later, and I want you to answer them. Aw, oh, again? <laughs> Your method is unable to adapt to the language because you skip the basics during assembly. Yes, ma'am. Shion, is what we are doing really Probably okay? not. You're asking me now? You're the one who demanded we let you help. I mean, well, what we're doing is a crime. Yes. yes, but that was before the Gnosis terrorism. We know that the Gnosis phenomenon is symbiotically linked to the UMN. So the UMN, as it stands now, is dangerous. Again, things that happened between Xenosaga 2 and 3. Gnosis terrorism? That did not happen in Xenosaga 2 like you'd think. No, that happened between the games. <laughs> Just like Doc 2 said, Gnosis may not have been called by Professor Mizrahi. That is important to note. Keep that in your brain. And the UTIC organization, or even the immigrant fleet. But rather nope. Vector, the constructor of Wasn't the Wasn't Vector either. If that's true, there may be an ulterior motive in Cosmos's development as well. Cosmos! Is that why you're having Skientia investigate the Milshin conflict? Because your father might have been involved? I don't know for certain. But I think someone has to do something. And I don't want Cosmos to suffer. You Shion. don't... You still can't. You don't want Cosmos about her? to suffer, so you left your job at Vector while you were developing Cosmos and completely left Cosmos in their hands. You quit the company without any hesitation, so I thought you'd be over it by now. It takes a lot of courage to renounce everything you've worked for. Anyway, if there's any developments over here, I'll let you know. Right. But be no careful. promises. You're in more danger than the rest of us since you are where you are. Oh, Shion, stop trying to scare me. <laughs> nice bathing suit. Again. Nephilim. Why would she still... go in the. F why would she use the freaking ES in a bathing suit? Also, why does she even have the ES? <laughs> it was vector property, and now she has it, even though she quit. <laughs> Don't worry about Nephilim. Lady pains. <laughs> That's happening a lot lately. I wonder if I'm just worn out. Nope. Not just worn out. But you're an asshole, so I don't care that much. <laughs> yeah, she has a freaking, like, private island. Blow the tree. That'll do. Blow up the other one! <laughs> I want all the secrets. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Um. Aw, <sighs> uh, look at that flat texture. That is one downside of playing this game on an emulator in HD. I can absolutely tell that that's just a flat um, 2D yes. texture of a cliff in the background. <laughs> that is a downside. But what are you gonna do? Yeah. 
bonk, bonk. What are you gonna do? I mean, absolutely jealous of this little setup she's got here. I'm the residential PC. Can I would kill to live in a place like this. Where I can blow up freaking coconuts all day. What if I don't want to press a button? What if I want to go over here and blow this up? Regular clothes hang in the closet. Well, maybe you should put them on instead of answering a call in your bathing suit. <laughs> or you're just gonna open the call in your bathing suit, it's fine. Hi, Alan! Uh, um, I guess it's been a while, Chief. Um, actually, this is pretty difficult to tell you, but at a staff meeting a few days ago, they officially decided to cancel First Division's Cosmos. Yep, they're gonna scrap project. Cosmos. Actually, it's being transferred to the military, so the project itself isn't going away. But the military is gonna oversee the development of a new model. So the Cosmos unit development will come to a close at the end of this yep. month. Togashi and I have the misfortune of being transferred to the military along with it. The decision was sudden, so... We're all scrambling to organize the data we've accumulated. Though, all of us are pretty down since you've left. So, now I'm on 5th Jerusalem, where the project is being transferred to. Would you like to come and visit us? Everyone misses you. I'm sure even <laughs> Cosmos. I love Cosmos. Well, <laughs> she's antisocial as usual, so I don't know what she thinks, but I bet she misses Cosmos you Because Cosmos is like a daughter sister to Shion. <laughs> I'll await your answer. I hope to see you soon, Chief. Him. Our flower of first That bathing suit looks entirely uncomfortable. Well, he certainly learned how to talk He's still to in me. love with you, even though you do not deserve Alan. <laughs> Alan is too good for you. I can't believe it's been six months already. Chief, wait, calm down. Please, tell me why... Weren't you listening to what I just said? I was listening. I, I she heard has you say. glasses. What do you mean you're She has quiet? glasses on in the in-game model. You can see them, but they're not on the portrait. Upper management has yet to make a decision. I can't just stay on as chief like nothing happened after causing an incident like that. You mean the Gnosis terrorism, right? It was that grimoire guy who caused it. There's no reason for you to take responsibility for it. You haven't been accused of anything yet. You don't have to resign. Cosmos will be sealed and placed under observation, and I'm responsible for it. It may be irresponsible to leave in the middle of development, but I can't stay at Vector. For other reasons, too. She's only being sealed temporarily, and... Wait, Chief! Let her go, Alan. She, you're too good for Alan, her. Please take care of Cosmos. And everyone. Please, give it a second thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> and leaves. Chief. Yeah, they have to explain a bunch of what would have been the plot of the original Xenosaga 3 in, like, flashbacks in this game. <laughs> it's Kevin! A female form? See, she has glasses yes. on in this portrait. Since ancient times, women always healed people's hearts and granted them. Yeah, hope. okay, Kevin. But there have been a lot of men who were healers too. Historical records have always been compiled from a male point of view. <laughs> and besides, men are creatures capable of nothing but destruction and conquest. Wow, Kevin. <laughs> it's important to choose a female form when it's going to be a creator or protector. And then Cosmos kills him. <laughs> Did I say something strange? No, it's just funny to see you with a gentle expression while you lecture with such intensity. Aww. Isn't that really? sweet? Why 
Why did you decide to make Cosmos, Kevin? Is it to protect humanity? Sure. Well. <laughs> it's true that Gnosis are a grave threat to mankind's existence. So wanting to protect people from that threat is part of it. But more than that, there's something much stronger inside me. Stronger? Everything exists for a reason. If the Gnosis represents a truth we haven't known before, then I want to know what that I... is. <laughs> the truth about Gnosis. I think that may actually be the shortcut to saving this universe. I know you can do And then he gets, you know, murdered by the Cosmos prototype. <laughs> you'll build Cosmos and you'll find that meaning. Wait a minute, is Cosmos even inside there? Now, because, again, things that you only notice when you play this game on an emulator, but you can sort of see inside a crack of that. Is she even, is there even a model of Cosmos' prototype in there? <laughs> oh, things you only notice when you play games on an emulator. So, they've canceled the project. It's my fault. Kevin would be sad. Everything is unfinished. I'm sure even Cosmos won't be satisfied. Except she's a robot. You can't feel much of anything. No, I'm the one who's not satisfied. I can't go on leaving things unfinished like this. I have to go see Cosmos. Yay, let's go see Cosmos. I'm sure this will end well. I'm sure this will end perfectly. Nothing bad could possibly happen. <laughs> uh oh! Testaments with Wilhelm! The evil CEO of Vector. It appears part of the S line division data leaked. It's her handiwork. It seems she's working very hard. <laughs> the leak includes information about that program. It doesn't matter, they have little power. Actually, it's all rather <clears throat> endearing. They think their cage is the entire world, and they believe they can change it. Let's just watch over them for a while. See, that was your first mistake, Wilhelm. <laughs> just. But enough of that. How did things go at Renlu Chateau? Is everything ready? Everything is proceeding as planned. The transport to Fifth Jerusalem is complete. We are ready for the Zohar project demonstration. Do you intend to leave that location as is? Yes. Ormus needs a sign that they can see with their own eyes. As long as they have their proof, they will continue to sacrifice themselves to protect their Great. idol. Right. So he's using religious fanaticism against people, which is rude. For that is the source of their hope. There isn't much time left for her as well. Contact with Cosmos has taken its toll dun, dun, on her. Dun. You must succeed this time. I understand. I will tend to her myself. She emits good wavelength, just as you said. The phrasing of some of the lines in this game. <laughs> Thank you. Freezing. Fucking freezing, man. Save the game? Yes. <laughs> we just need a big gif of Archer just freezing! <laughs> oh shit, I didn't mean to say that. Fuck! Uh, hopefully my other recording goes well. I accidentally just saved over the recording from my last video. Oops. It's only the first video. It's not like I'd have to play through the entire game if my, if my recording went south. This is all. Hi, Yuli! Yes, this battle resulted in the destruction of the 87th Division fleet. Helmer! Now the Mictum system has, for all practical purposes, fallen under Ormus' control. And so, history repeats itself. It's the exact same situation as 100 yep. years ago. I mean, what? <laughs> as long as people have self-preservation instincts, there will always be conflicts. The consciousness that makes us who we are is an inseparable part well, of Well, that's... Life pessimistic helmer 
Only death awaits people who abandon their human nature. I... So everything is dictated by the laws of nature? That does sound like you, Helmer. But even that is in danger of being destroyed by the Gnosis. If things continue on like this. That's what the Zoha project is for. I hear Ooh, that the tactical do. warship Makaba is already complete. According to the remaining fragments of the Y data, the Merkaba, just like the Proto Merkaba, is a device that existed since ancient times. And Dimitri decided to turn it into Wonderful. a weapon. When Albedo obtained the Y data from Momo's subconscious domain, Dimitri obtained it as well by some unknown method. I can't remember if they. Ex oh wait, no, I remember why. I remember how he got his hands on it. Okay, I won't. I won't spoil it. <gasps> that bastard, Dimitri. Who would have thought he would use Joachim's dark relic? Of course he would. This must be hard on you. I'm more worried about how Momo would feel if she learned about this. I can't bear to see her. Aw, oh, she's actually being a mom for once. <laughs> You're a good. Mother. Uh, it's a recent development, Helmer. She's wasn't a good mother before. <laughs> well, I'm trying. I'm sorry, but I will need you to keep an eye on Dimitri a little while longer. Isn't this sort of job your special? Wow, Yuli. Perhaps in the past. Now I'm the Milshin representative. I can't make any moves out Except of the Except for open. saying, ooh, do Just restraining the Salvatore faction in Parliament keeps my hands full. You have my sympathy. Farewell. Kanan! Kanan? No, Kanan is everywhere. <laughs> Have you found any information about the object? This is what it looks like under the UMN resonating telescope at maximum magnification. According to the information we obtained unofficially from Unofficially? Vector, <laughs> the hacking. This object is called Ren Le Chateau. There's no way to prove this, but apparently it's a landmass that belonged to Lost Translation, Jerusalem. because this game is very convoluted language. Earth. Lost Jerusalem is Earth. Even if, as you say, this is in fact a relic of Lost Jerusalem, why has it appeared now? There is also a record of an unusual number of Gnosis appearing in that region of space. Of course there space. is. <laughs> Ormus appears interested in it as well. There's likely to be some connection. The only way to obtain more data on it is to make direct contact with the target. that's gonna end well. <laughs> what do you propose about assembling an expedition team? I've already commissioned the Kukai and Foundation. And the Elsa! This isn't public due to the number of Ormus members in the military and parliament. A wise decision. Yep. Gonna go get a junior. Was she on doing well? Yes, she seemed fine. Though I'm not sure if I approve of her newest. Again, be nice to Miyuki Cannon. <laughs> Though, granted, he's probably talking about Doctus. <laughs> uh, Skientia. Their technical skills are impressive. Vector has been acting suspiciously since the Gnosis terrorism. We'll use anything we can in order to find the truth, even outlaws. Please continue your investigation on the UMN. It must be difficult for you since you were born at Vector, but there's no one else I can ask. Okay. Again. I'm currently under the jurisdiction of the Milshin See, it's like government. that's our explanation for why Cannon's here, but... And I've also received orders from Representative Helmer to cooperate I don't with recall you. them explaining how Cannon went from Vector to being under the, Mil the Milshin government jurisdiction. Do not worry about me. Don't Thank tell you. me what to do, Cannon. This, is, this entire episode is just gonna be cutscenes. No, this isn't a let's play of, of video games. It's a let's play of a movie. This game went to the Kojima school of uh, game design, where it's 90% cutscene. Junior! The parliament and the military both have their hands full dealing with Ormus. And we can't ignore a request from committee member Mizrahi. Nah, don't worry about it. We're getting bored anyway. It'll be a nice change of yeah, pace. Yeah, okay, Junior. Right? That's right. It's unofficial, but we have information that an Ormus fleet is headed there as well. 
Either there's something there that Ormus needs, or maybe, maybe what? Just because we don't know what it is, doesn't mean they don't. Either way, if we make direct contact, we're sure to find out something. Sure. Right? I envy your attitude, <laughs> but I wish you'd think a little more about my. No, position. then, then you wouldn't be junior. Oh well, that's the little master for ya. The matter is surrounded by sensitive political issues. If I could, I'd go with you. But I can't leave Fifth Jerusalem. That's suspicious. <laughs> Take care of the place while I'm gone, you two. If he gives you any trouble, don't hesitate to scold him. <laughs> you got it. Wait, if I remember correctly, isn't Oh no, Guinan is older than them, I think. Understood. I no. No, no, Junior's older than Guinan. God, I can't remember. No, yeah, Junior is older than Guinan because he's the 666 one. Like, he really envies me. He's dumped all the hard stuff on us. I'm going to make him write all the reports when this is done. <laughs> yeah, okay, Junior. Little Master, are you really going to be okay with just Probably not. Elsa? Wouldn't it be a good idea for us to go too? Don't worry. It's just going to be a reconnaissance, so Elsa's small size is better suited. Just keep the Durandal in the back for support. Anyway, we've got ESs. There's nothing to worry about. Famous last words, Junior. Little Master, I don't mean to dampen your enthusiasm, but large-scale Gnosis appearances have been detected in that region of space. Please take appropriate caution. Don't tell me what to do, Shelly. I'll contact you later. Yeah, that's gonna end well. Spoiler alert. Doesn't end well. Got so many cutscenes. <laughs> hey, Pellegree. Margulis, I've put Richard and Herman in charge of dealing with the Federation fleet moving towards Renlu Chateau. <laughs> they seem to be highly compatible with the vessels of Anima. Okay. <laughs> also, yes. the Federation will be unable to offer any real resistance against ES craft. Listen to this cutscene. Listen to Margulis's voice actor. Then I want you to go hop over to my Resident Evil Revelations 2 Let's Play and listen to Barry Burton. And now you'll know why I was calling Barry Burton Margulis during the cutscenes for that game. This should keep them quiet for a while. Hmm. So What's I'm gonna call him Barry in this game. Yourself? Are you feeling sentimental after returning to our homeland? Pellegree. What do you see before A you? pile of rubble, Barry. <laughs> Mictum, the mummified world that spreads before our eyes. This is what is left of the birthplace of Ormus. A world destroyed 18 years but ago. But it's not Milsha, which was destroyed 15 years ago. It's just, it's, this story's a little hard to keep up with. <laughs> By Federation barbarians who foolishly unleashed the Zohar. Citation needed. Yes, it is our homeland wiped from the records in order to cover up the Federation's mistakes. Citation needed. <laughs> but why are we here now? What lies on this world ruled by death and gnosis? Isn't our goal to return to lost Jerusalem? Everything is the will of Lord Heinlein. It is not for us Stop to that. know. He has stated that this world will rise again. Then it must mean that it will. Already Renle Chateau has returned. The holy land of Renlu Chateau? Our cradle, which once existed on lost Jerusalem. Where our blessed saint sleeps. If the reappearance of the tomb heralds the revival of our homeland, then we must protect our holy land at all costs. Sure, your religious nut job. <laughs> Especially Reporting, one sir. particular fact about that being where their holy saint sleeps. Uh, yeah, they're a bunch of religious nut jobs once you know who the actual saint is. <laughs> A Kukai Foundation vessel is approaching the region in question. It appears to be a Lohengrin class Elsa. freighter. Hmm. Helmer's dogs. Rude. <laughs> Perhaps I'll meet him again. Prepare the prodigium for launch. We're going to Ren le Chateau. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. I need. 
this entire video is just, oh my God, I've been recording for 37 minutes and I can't really cut. Oh God, this is really all gonna be a freaking. I'm just gonna. We're gonna end the video here. <laughs> I don't wanna record too long because I don't want the footage to get corrupted or a video to go on for too long. I try to record in half an hour sprints. Okay, so uh, this entire video is just gonna be not but cutscenes. And, you know, one fight that was in the very beginning, but whatever. My name is Miss Scarlet Teenager, and I have been playing some Xenosaga. I'll see you all in the next video.